People who know me know that I'm absolutely in love with nature. Mother Earth is so loving, so kind, so generous, so intelligent, so patient. There's so much to learn from her. Ever since I started gardening more, I caught myself observing nature. You see that each plant is different. They have different colors, shapes, textures, require different care. Nature is a perfect example of coexistence, harmony, and perfection. Everything grows at the right time. I started planting the seeds of fruits and vegetables after eating them. So much fun. And to see them growing is really magical. First, you see a tiny little seed, and then a few weeks later, there's a plant, and then you see fruits. Where was that life before? Inside of the seed? So this life cycle keeps repeating exponentially. And there's another lesson here. If we consider that we plant more than seeds, we can plant ideas, we can plant intentions, and we plant words. So a word that we say to someone can be considered a seed. What kind of seeds are we planting? Are we planting seeds of fear, hate, or are we planting seeds of love and compassion? See how powerful this is? That's why it's so important to be conscious about what we plant out into the world, as well as what gets planted inside of us. It's important to filter everything that we put out and that we put in, from the food that we eat, the people that we have in our lives, the choices that we make, the news that we read, the books, the movies, everything. Because all these can grow into fruits. Another thing that I find to be very important is to never feed the seed of the ego. It's the ego who gets disappointed, who gets frustrated, not the heart. That's why it's so important to nourish the seed of love. Because when we have love in our lives, we have abundance. And love is that one thing that the more we give, the more we have. There's no such thing as like, oh, I'm running out of love. We can find ourselves depleted of attention, validation, but never depleted of love. I would like for you to see yourself as a garden. How are you gonna take care of this garden? Last but not least, I have a homework slash challenge for you. The next time that you eat a fruit or a vegetable, save a few seeds and then plant them. You can go online and find out if that plant needs full sun or shade and the amount of water it needs, and then you plant. And then observe your plant. Learn from it. Share with it. There's so many lessons that we can learn from a single plant. Mother Nature is so wise and so giving. What kind of seeds are you planting? What would you like to have more in your life? Perhaps you would like to have more love Maybe you would like to have more compassion, understanding. Now imagine that this is the seed that you're planting. I would love if you could come back and share what you learned. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.